Our son Sammy was an amazing kid. Sweet, funny, curious, an A student. And like all parents, we worked hard to keep him away from dangerous people and places. But like most parents, we had no idea that drug dealers were preying on our children on Snapchat and other social media platforms. And we had no idea illegal untested drugs could be delivered to our house as easily as a pizza. On February 7th, 2021, an online drug dealer reached out to Sammy on Snapchat and delivered drugs to him at our home. He snuck out after we were asleep to meet the dealer who gave him what turned out to be a lethal dose of fentanyl. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid, twice as addictive as heroin, a hundred times more powerful than morphine and fatal even in microscopic doses. And Sammy had no idea he was taking it. As a result, we experienced every parent's worst pain. We lost our son. And even more painful is that our family is not alone in this tragedy. Children like our son, who think they're just harmlessly experimenting, are dying by the thousands across the country from fentanyl poisoning. For most kids today, life online is just life. 95% of today's teens say that they have access to a smartphone. Nearly half of them say they're online almost constantly. The digital world is a 24-hour playground where kids can meet and make friends and learn. It's a dynamic and exciting place for them, but it's also a dangerous one. As parents, we must be more vigilant than ever. We must talk to our children specifically about the new deadly drugs now on the street and offered online. And these drugs are never safe because you have no idea what's in them. We must make sure we know where our kids are online and who's there with them. And to do that, you can use the settings on their social media apps to keep track of their activities. And if you bought their devices, you have a right to all their passwords, whether they like it or not. Using that power could save their lives. Some social media platforms allow software, such as Bark, to alert parents if dangerous topics appear on their child's social media accounts. Other platforms inexplicably do not, and that is putting our kids at greater risk. We may have lost Sammy, but we haven't lost our fire to protect kids against these dangers. Please join me. Sign our petition to allow parental monitoring tools on every popular social media platform. Please visit parentsforsaferchildren.org for crucial resources to keep your children safe and learn how we can protect all our children from the drug dealers preying on them online.